Last call. Stephen A, what's going on? This is uh, Richard from uh, Los Angeles. What's up, man? Come on, let's go. So you know this year is the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, so I'm curious to get your take on your top five MCs, Dead or Alive. Um, my top five, I got Andre 2000, Slick Rick, Kendrick, MF Doom, and Miss Lauren Hill. What about you? I couldn't hear what you were asking, but I'm assuming you're mentioning hip-hop artists or your performers or whatever. For me, Jay-Z's number one all-time. Biggie and Tupac is in my top five. I love Nas as well. And for me, LL Cool J. Because his work has withstood the test of times. He is something special. You understand? He never, ever, ever disappoints us. Ever. LL is special. My brother. And by the way, I got to get him on here just to promote his Rock the Bells channel on Sirius XM. LL's doing some great things, man. He's a great brother. He's my homeboy. Five minutes away, Farmers Boulevard. That's where he grew up when I was growing up in Hollis. Got mad love for LL. And anytime I got an opportunity to do anything that's going to help benefit him, I'm all for it. By the way, as an aside, they said there was a sighting the other day for Jamie Foxx, who was seen and he was smiling. Um... He's probably still mad at me because of what I said about Rihanna. It was just a bad joke on my part when I did it on the Sherry Shepard show. Um, but I love Jamie Foxx. I consider him arguably the most talented individual in the history of Hollywood. He can sing. He can, he can act serious or comedic. You know, he's sensational. You know, no doubt about it. Um, but he's an even better person. And so, you know, it's beautiful to see him healthy and getting better and better every day. God bless you, my brother. All the best to you.